Hey there and welcome to Consult the Flying Guy. My name is Andrew and in today's episode we're talking about how you can make money by selling your own products online. If you're new here, please don't forget to subscribe. If you're a member of the consulting crew, welcome back. I hope you enjoy today's episode. Let's get to it. As I said, welcome to this episode of Consult the Blind Guy. Today, we're talking about how you can make money from home by selling your own products online. Now, what do I mean by selling your own products online? This can be a variety of things. You could have digital books, digital products in general. You can have physical books, art and crafts, music. There, whatever kind of product you make yourself, whether it is physical or digital, you can sell online. And there's multiple different platforms that you can do it on. Now, if you're an artist that does handmade jewelry or beadwork, clothing, you name it. If you're any kind of an artist, you can sell your handmade items on the likes of Facebook Marketplace, Amazon's Woot.com, Etsy, just to name a few. And you can make a nice considerable amount of profit by selling on those sites. You also have the ability to go onto sites like Teespring or Redbubble, Printly, Printify, Shopify, and be able to sell your products on there. The best part about some of these is they're not strictly just for merch sales like t-shirts like the one I'm wearing here from Dr. Elo, but you also have the ability to do baseball caps, planners, sweatpants, socks, you name it. There is a literal ton of different types of merch you can make, whether it's something you wear, something you use, or it's home decor. And then on some of those sites, they also allow you to sell digital products as well, whether it's an ebook, a graphic like I'm using right now for an overlay, or if it's music or intros, anything you can think of for a digital product you make yourself. You could even be affirmations like wallpapers or memes that you have for desktop use, encouraging comments, things like that. And you could sell those online as well. And now you don't have to be strictly stuck to selling these products online. Of course, you could sell them from your own home as well. But you also have farmers markets, crafters, vendors, events that you can go to as well to be able to further sell your products within your community or if you're wanting to travel as well. If this is something that interests you, I highly recommend heading on over to my blog where I go into this even in greater detail with helpful tips, tricks, and things to consider so you can get the best profit possible out of doing this. Head on over to consultablindguy.com slash blog and you'll be able to find an article on this topic as well as many others. And if you're interested, you can also buy my book, Income Booster, 100 plus businesses. You could start from home and ditch the nine to five. The link's down in the description. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Stay safe. Have a great day or evening, depending on where you are in the world. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Have a good one.